the X Particles new sound modifier gives you full access to sound control over your particles. In the scene we have an emitter with the new cylinder shape and we're going to set it so that the particles emit only from the ring so that they're going to just emit straight out. And what we want to do is start controlling this using sound. I'm just going to change the emission to 2000 particles per second with a lifetime of 4 seconds with a variation of 1. Let's go to our X particles menu, choose modifiers, control X particles sound, and you can see we get this whole new modifier. What we're going to do first is we're going to set up the scene so that we can actually listen to some audio. At the moment, putting audio in here, you still won't be able to hear it. So what we'll do is we'll go to our window, we'll choose a timeline dope sheet, I'm going to right click, choose add proper add special tracks sound and with the soundtrack selected we're going to add a sound file. Select the sound file, open it and that will enable sound within your timeline. So if we push play you get the audio. Let's close this now. We're going to go to the sound modifier and use the same sound file that we just selected. Add that and you can see we've got a graph that's showing our frequencies. We've got some timing options for when it starts and repeats, etc. We've got colors that we can use to change the graph. We've got some frequency controls and some controls for the amplitude and the equalizer. The way the particle system works is this is looking at the sound and then we're going to go into our next tab called map sound. Now the mapping sound will let you map a certain option options within the sound modifier into your particles. So let's add one. As you can see it creates a new parameter with a little option here which is going to show the frequencies. So you can see it's like a little equalizer. And you can see straight away the particles are now being emitted with color and by the sound. Now this first map is set to parameter color so when mapping color and the, what we're mapping it to is the frequencies and the ranges within the sound you've got different modes for combined peak amplitude and peak frequency and absolute add multiply and subtract now what you can do is you can play around with the sliders to get the right sort of look that you're after you can change the settings and this will give you access to the different sounds based on the frequencies. So you can see we now dropped it down and we're talking to a different part of the actual spectrum here on the map. We can keep layering these up. So let's close that one, add a new map. And with this map, we're going to map our speed. So now we're controlling the speed of the particles directly from the frequencies within the sound modifier. Again, you can change these settings to get complete control over all of the sound. And you can go back and adjust them to work how you need it to. So you can see we're getting really fine control of what our particles are doing based on the sound. You can keep adding more maps and choose different parameters as you can see from the list you can change velocity, temperature, speed, smoke, radius, mass, fuel, fire, emissions, custom and color. Let's disable this one to get unique control over your system. Another one you can do with this is to actually control geometry. So let's create a new scene. I'll just hide those. We'll work with them so far. I'm going to create an emitter. And we'll set this one to be a circle. So we're going to emit a cylinder. So 
Maybe they miss a, a cylinder. Bring down the scale. Like so. We're going to get a generator so that we're generating these cylinders based on the emitter. And we're going to change the emitter to emit on the origin only, so at axis 0, and the emission to 1. Let's get a new sound modifier. We'll just push play for now. So you can see it's creating one particle. We'll go to our modifiers, control, sound, enable the audio track, and then we're going to go to map, and we're going to map scale, so parameter, radius, let's make sure our generator is also talking to radius. to the sound modifier and let's just change some of the settings so you can see we're getting variations in our scale now based on what the sound modifier is actually doing we can also go in and add another one and we're going to change that to emission. Just set those two render instances to help speed it up. So change this to control speed. So let's add another map. And with this map, we're going to change our speed. So you can get a visualization of an actual sound wave just using particles and geometry. Take it as far as you want, adding up maps and layers and get your unique look from the sound.